bringing news that matters to you. You're watching the Bahamas Tonight Northern Edition. Welcome back. The current register of voters has closed and the Parliamentary Registration Department is now preparing for the advance poll to take place at the Police Training College on Tuesday, May 31st and the Referendum Day on June 7th. Meantime, the Say No campaign is using the remaining time to spread its message throughout the country. Italia Hall has the story. Two organizations, the Say No campaign and Think Bahamas are joining forces. Pastor Cedric Moss of Think Bahamas explained why they are saying no to bills number two, three, and four, but is encouraging Bahamians to say yes to bill number one. On bill two, we do not believe philosophically that citizenship should be given on the basis of marriage. We think it should be on the basis of merit. On bill three, we do not believe that men who father children out of wedlock should be able to pass citizenship to them. We believe that women under all circumstances, married and unmarried, uh, at home or abroad, should be able to pass citizenship to all of their children. There has been much controversy on bill number four and Moss expressed his concerns on that bill. We've not had a problem with it as is, so why is this all of a sudden a problem that we need to define it? The other issue is that we didn't define what male and female is. Though they said sex is male and female, what is male and female? On the other hand, Pastor Eddie Victor of the Say No campaign is encouraging voters to say no to all four bills. The Vote No campaign, the major concern was four. Um, as we studied and as we, as we developed our campaign, we realized we got problems with, with, with all of the questions. But, but number one is, is, is good in its, in its intention. Um, but uh, we've been encouraging our members to vote no to all. Victor says all leaders, pastors, and citizens must remember that they have a responsibility to be watchmen of society. If we see anything that will be a threat to our country, to our culture, to our tradition, that, um, and especially when it comes to um, the principles of the kingdom of God, that we need to let our voices be heard. Moss and Victor say this referendum is of paramount importance and is encouraging all Bahamians to go out and vote on June 7th. Italia Hall, ZNS Network News. And now it is time to ask the doctor. Hi and welcome. Today we'll discuss a little more on transit ischemic attacks also known as TIAs or mini strokes for short. Symptoms of a TIA may include sudden weakness, numbness, tingling, or loss of movement in your face, arm, or leg, typically on one side of the body, slurred speech, difficulty speaking or trouble understanding others, sudden visual changes such as double vision or blindness in one or both eyes, or dizziness, loss of balance or coordination. Symptoms may appear and last anywhere from minutes to less than 24 hours before disappearing. While TIAs generally do not cause permanent brain damage, they are serious warning signs that a stroke may happen in the future and should not be ignored. So if you or someone you know are experiencing similar symptoms, please call 919 or go to the nearest emergency room immediately. I'm Dr. Mooney Pratt and this has been Ask the Doctor. Stay with us, Ricardo Liveborn is a check on sports when we return.